Hey everybody, welcome to another Happy Gamer video. This one is going to deal with tactics for the new Tempestus Platoon, Militorum Platoon. Um, originally I made this video and then I found out that I basically have the exact same thinking as the authors of the article in White Dwarf. So I decided that instead of making it look like I'm just plagiarizing their ideas i'm simply going to read it to you from them because as i said our ideas are, are almost exactly the same and a little spoiler you get to find out about a new rules change for the imperial guard giving orders listen through and find out what that will be now all right it's called, the article is called, The Mission Elite. Use Militarum Tempestus Platoons to spearhead your main advance. Armed with hotshot las guns to size through anything shy of Terminator armor, and two special weapons per Tempestus Scion squad, they rank amongst Warhammer 40K's elite killers. For the most destructive results, mount them in a Torox Prime APCs, where their firepower is increased dramatically. Then close into short range and disembark into the jaws of hell. Avoid getting bogged down, however. Once you've dealt with one threat, hop back into your transports and speed off to the next threat. Use the Tempestor Command Squad as a support unit and keep it 12 to 18 inches back from the rest of the platoon. This way, your Tempestus Scions benefit from the Tempestor's Prime's Voice of Command special rule. Also, you can issue order to one of those units per turn. Typically, this will be for the quote, first rank fire, second rank fire, end quote, ability. It's simply too good to pass up with hotshot las guns, since it makes the squad firing 75% more effective. And that's the rules change I'm going to be telling you about in a second. With Leadership 9 affecting your Tempestus Scions, they should fight on even in the face of grim odds. I'd recommend putting your command squad in the Torox Prime and leaving it there. With a Torox Missile Launcher and twin-linked autocannons, where it can fire past your frontline Tempestus Scions and bludgeon any light or medium vehicles threatening the rest of your platoon. With your formation established, only commit your Militarum Tempestus Command Squad into the action if or when things start to look shaky for your front line. To that end, Choose a weapon loadout for them that helps in a counter-offensive style attack. I'd opt for a meta pack to keep the Tempestor Prime alive and a couple of hot shot volley guns for supporting fire. Bear in mind that other squads of Tempestus Scions probably won't be using theirs, and each kit includes one. There you go. Now, voice from the future. Cher, 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 cher. The astute listeners among you will have noticed that I said first rank fire, second rank fire enables Tempestus Scions to get an extra shot from their hot shot las guns. While that contradicts what's in the Codex Imperial Guard right now, in the very near future, Astra Militarum officers will be able to do just that. Get an extra shot with that order. Boom! Just those officers. Now, 
What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, I couldn't reasonably offer this tactical advice without explaining it, is my point. If I were you, I'd start practicing with those rules right now. Similarly, Codex Militarum Tempestus, also released this week, contains six Militarum Tempestus orders that can be used exclusively by Tempestor Primes with a Militarum Tempestus detachment. These orders are dramatically different from those in Codex Imperial Guard and include some very dangerous fire doctrines indeed. Get those hotshot las guns ready, people, because you've got future videos coming where I will detail the squads and orders from the new Astra Militarum Codex. Keep watching, and bye!